So let's talk about graphs for groups. And the technical name, technical name is a Kelly graph. Kelly graphs. It's graphs for groups. So luckily for us, people that did group theory used graphs to kind of model their groups. And we are using it the other way around. We are using groups to construct graphs. Okay? But just using the results, stealing everything. So what they did here was they used a certain group, uh, which was a another billion, which is going to be too hard for us now. We don't know presentation theory. Some of us do, but we don't know how the purpose of the course is presentation theory. So what I want to do in the next this lecture and the next is to talk about Kelly graphs and give you many graphs, many graphs, not, not great experiments, but many graphs which you can actually understand their eigen, uh, eigen values, their eigen vectors. And later, following that, probably they also are going to start to talk about the zigzag, which is unrelated to that. And it, it's a combinatorial way of constructing expanders. But in reality, what happens is that you use both. You use both Kelly graphs and uh, So it's really important to see that part. You cannot see a pseudo random course without talking about Kelly graphs and, uh, and not the zigzag. So you do both. So this is the plan. Okay, about Kelly graphs, only two hours, or an hour, and then you can get it. Questions on that? Don't see this. No, no. Because this means that Omega is like one of those, maybe two of those code of me, and you wanted graphs for Omega, which is small. And Omega is? Uh, so, the, so the, for example, if the heating property is what, what appeared here. It's like a It's a spectral of E. So let's talk about Kelly graphs. Do you know about characters of finite groups? Maybe? We don't even know about groups. Really? Groups? Oh, that's a. That's going to be difficult. <laughs> uh, okay, fine. Uh, okay. Uh, I can tell you the definition of the group, but then. Uh, hmm. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I'll have to ask you assume you don't so you don't know. Hmm. Uh, let me think for a second. I mean you can say what the group is, that's easy. But uh, the following is that uh, it doesn't make justice with the motion. Uh, okay, so anyhow, uh, so what's a group? It's different, actually I remember the definition. <laughs> so a group really is like I mean you know groups, even if you haven't known what don't know if you know the group. So a group is really a set, but with only one operation. Say for a field, for example, is a set with two operations. This application, here is just one today, operation. Usually you do not need by GM, and you write the operation as a product like symbol, even though for us it's going to be a summation. So a group is, is this thing, so it's a set, but it does uh, this operation, and this operation is. It's just mapping two elements to an element in the group. Like when you multiply things, you get two things, you get one. But there should be like some uh, requirements. Right. So the first of all is that the, the associativity. So G, H, and K are elements in the group. Some some people do non associative stuff. That's associativity. Existence of that. Right, so there is some element E such that G times E is E times G is G, all G. So that's called the neutral element because it's like a one in multiplication or zero in addition. It does nothing. I'm kind of just abstracting what you know about numbers. Uh, and the third thing. Uh, the, 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 like the negative. Right. So for every, for every G, in the group, there should be an H such that I'm not sure I need both of them. It's E. So there's always an inverse. 
קוראים לי G, there's someone, there's like one over G. Which when you multiply it for both left or right, it's necessarily a And when I don't write anything, I mean this. Okay, so a group really captures one operation, not two, so we don't have like a more about two operations. But it does satisfy, so it's abstract, but it does satisfy the most basics, most basic properties like associativity, the existence of a unit, someone that doesn't, that's you know, multiplied by this invariant, and with respect to that element, which you can prove is unique, the, the existence of an inverse, which you can also prove is unique. It's not a part of the definition. It's follows from that tricks. But you know, it, it, you shouldn't think of a group as a flash. You should think of a group as doing something to something. But that's, that's, that's the way that. The way to think about groups is the way they act on things. But I'm not, I'm not in that. Right, so if you look at the vector space, it's really, you have two groups, you have a, or, or field, you have a group with addition and multiplication, but there is also a relation between the two operations. So a group only handles like one operation. So then if, if you would have listened to me like five years ago, <laughs> I told you, do math. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, we, can, we can talk about it, but we will see like very specific groups. So it will be obvious that, I mean, you won't need a definition of a group to understand anything. But now let's continue still. I mean, I can just tell you that's like the next thing about groups. So given a group, so let's, we are going to talk only about finite groups. Even though infinite groups are like cooler, easier even. In this, in this context. And abelian. So what is abelian? It means that uh, G times H is H times G. For every H and G. It's commutative. But this person called Abel studied those and it's for his name. The fact that it's a small A is like a contributor. You know, so amazing. We don't even, it's like, it's a, it's a, it's a word, it's a name. <laughs> So we have a finite abelian group. And I think from here, everyone, unless you know about, you know about representation theory or characters or something? Someone knows? So it's going to be interesting. It's, not, it's, it's very simple. So, so you give me a such thing, and I'm looking at so a character, a character. So I, I'm going to say a word. It sounds weird, but I'm going to explain it. It's a homomorphism from G to the complex numbers with a zero uh, taken out. Doesn't really matter, but with zero taken out. I think I put too many lines. Uh, so what do I mean a homomorphism? I just mean that, so that's a homomorphism, that's a big word. But what it really means is that for every G and H, a, a chi of G times H, well, this time is in the group, is chi of G, which is just a complex number, times chi of G, which is another complex number. So this is the usual multiplication. So this really means that chi kind of respects the group structure. So if you multiply before and apply chi, it's the same as multiplying after the application. Function. Is this function? Is a function? Yes. It's called the homomorphism, but that's what it's doing. Right. So this is a group, and that's also a group. You just look at the multiplication and look at it. Uh, so this is a homomorphism with the groups. So that's a group. The definition. That's that's enough. Well, now it's just a group because there's a zero element. So it's a group under the multiplication. You know this notion. Yeah, good. I, I was yeah, I just think about it. So let's do an example. Let's do two examples. There will be the running example of the wow, they land on doing them a bit later, but let's do it now. So uh, there are two nice groups, million groups. So first of all, Z to the ZN in addition. So when you write a group, you should specify the set and the operation. 
Okay. So this is the group where you just add the elements model to n. So, you have, so this is the set 0, 1, up to n minus 1, and you add model to n. It's a group. Okay. Unit element is the uh, n? Good. Uh, it's n or 0. Oh, it's zero. Okay. Yes. You can take like also n if you want. You think of it as an element, here, but it's 0. And the inverse is like the minus or n minus if you want the, the element. And because uh, the, the inverse of your one is n minus one. If you add them up, you get n, and modulo n is zero. And uh, that's it. And the associativity holds for the following numbers, and the modulo doesn't check. Go down to see such. That's a group. And group. Uh, what are the characters? Can you think of a character? Yeah, it's like the angles, like you split them to an... Uh... Exactly. So we are going to have also in my n characters, it's going to be always, always not on. We are going to have a character for every number between 0 and n minus 1. So for every such number, I'm going to define the character. So I'm not, now I need to tell you what it does for the group elements. So on some element L, from Zn, it takes it to the, uh, to the, you look at the nth root of unity, to like scaling n to this one, but to the k. So you kind of embed the group in the cycle, in the sphere, complex sphere. So we will see, let's, let's see that it's in a whole physical mathematics. No, that, that makes sense. It takes group elements to things that are not zero on the thing. And indeed, know that car, you know, if you fix k for any particular character, if you take two elements, both of them are in the group, and that's by definition omega n to the k. Ah, uh, sorry. The, the action, so the product in this group is addition. With that, so let's get another one. But it makes sense because this is omega n. If this went above n, it doesn't matter here. So I'm kind of abusing notation a little bit. I'm writing L percent time, then into the group. And here I think of them as kind of images when I add them up. But that's fine because you have omega n to that. So we are right, the seconds back. There is a little bit, there are so many things. This class is different than that class. Uh, Why did I really take? So for, for no, so, so what I think is for every k I'm going to define a character. So so it's good. I'm giving you many characters, and the k character does that. So it takes the input, multiply it by k as an integer. That's multiplication in like in the integers. And then take the n foot of unity to that. Okay, so now I'm going to check that it's a homomorphism, and that uh, indeed chi, chi k of the sum is the product of the chi k's. I think with your background, it may remind you like Fourier analysis. Right, so that's skip Fourier analysis. Good. So the character was like the Fourier analysis. K with the K with zero. Right. I mean, for any K you can have it, but I want them to be distinct. I want to have K distinct and uh, distinct. Yeah. But you're right, for any K, understand uh, that. And these are distinct because when at one they are distinct. These are distinct functions because when applied to one, you get the different uh, values. But anyhow, now it's just a matter of. Uh, Doing the multiplication, understanding this multiplication in the complex thing, and this is indeed chi a is L. So that's what we want from our whole. This is the product within the group, it looks like a sum. And this is the product in the complex plane, taking out the zero. No. So that's a group, that's a character of the group. These are the I mean, we will show that these are the only characters of this group, which we follow for what we do. 
Yeah, right. So no, so it's tough here, right? So here I kind of did I something out of the head. Right? I look at this group and I define a character from one. We put the other characters uh, at the other. Mm -hmm. No, just come again. Because it that's a great question. Because it won't be compatible. So this, so you have this thing and you have that thing, and they won't be compatible. Because when you add here, you see a, a kind of sliding notation. This is addition within the group, so it's modular n. And this is addition like in real life, in like not in like integers. And then the omega n here sitting here, make sure that it's okay to use this other. You can use omega of like 2n maybe, but then it corresponds to k, which is like the yeah, two of them. So I mean, there are other ways to represent this kind of thing. But uh, I think in the nth field, you know, this number which is divided by n, so it will be compatible. Okay, well, now let's take a break, and we'll continue with the second example, which is the Boolean hypercube. זה <laughs> 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 טוב, אני רוצה שאת מניחה שזה חבר. לא, אני רוצה להגיד שזה נכון. לא, לא. יש כאלה שאתה מביאה. Yeah, <laughs> 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 
‫בדברים שאתה חוזר בארץ, כן? ‫זה לא גם שהיא כזאת מסכימה, ‫היא יכולה להישאר מהבוקר עד הארץ. ‫אצלי גומנה, ‫אני מוצאים אותה בקשר בשמונה בבוקר ‫ובארבע אחר הצהרה. אה, כן. תודה, כמו שהייתה חבורה מגודל מסוים, מסוימת, חבורה מגודלה. כן, זה כמו סיימונס. בסוף הכל זה סיימונס. בסוף הכל זה סיימונס, זה... נכון. נכון. נכון, זה חבורה... כן, ראיתי את זה כבר. לא, אני חושבת שזה עשוי. נכון, המשחק הזה של המחלה של מנחשים את האנד כאילו הזה, שכאילו אתה יודע שזה מתאמץ כמו שאנחנו משלמים חמש אחוז, וגם יש לך שמונים אתה מכיר את זה לפני סתם כי שמעת על זה איך שאתה רואה את זה זה האמת שאתה מכיר את זה כאילו מה אני מכירה אבל לא הבנתי למה זה ‫כן. ‫-כן. 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 ‫לבנות גרפים לחבורה. ‫-אנשי חבורה מתקשים לפיני גרפס ‫כדי לסדר את ה... ‫-אתה מבין את הדברים כאלה. ‫אתה הולך על הגרף, ‫אתה הולך על משהו על ה... ‫-אמרות פארמנס. ‫אני חושב שזה לא צריך לעבור. ‫-אני חושב שזה לא צריך לעבור. ‫אני חושב שזה לא צריך לעבור. ‫אני חושב שזה לא צריך לעבור. ‫אני חושב שזה לא צרי
Ja. Måske det prøver jeg som en nærmest sted. Det er ikke sådan, vi kan bruge. Ja, det er So let's continue. Uh, so here's another example, that's an example number one. Actually, not going too much, uh, but uh, no, it's, it won't hunch you. Effect is going to send anything here anyhow. So the second example is uh, like the Boolean cube. That's it. Oh, that's, that's the wrong Boolean cube. The end dimensional Boolean cube. So, just, so when I do that, what I mean, instead of what you think I mean, I'm looking at all length n vectors, but the entries are from the group Z2. So when you add elements, you add them on, on point-wise. For example, if you take me, if you give me u and g here, then also with addition. Also with addition. Good. So so the addition in like in the new group is just you know you take the addition right and this addition is because since it's two, it's actually taking the the extra. This is a general thing that you do in groups. And you have like a group and you make other groups out of it. That's one way. And one thing that you can immediately see on the character is that what's a character is if you have like two groups and you take the product, then the Every two characters, you know, that you have, one for each of them gives you a new character, which is uh, just the product. Like so if you have a character for Z2, and you take another, or maybe the same character for Z2 and so forth, when the product, like, explain, is another character. But particularly, if you just give you the characters here, 
uh, which you can see follows from the, the products of the uh, characters of Zixu. So here the characters will be as follows. So for every V, the figure with is an empty vector in here. For every V, we're going to have a character chi V, and it's going to eat like an element in the Boolean cube. Also, uh, and it's just defined by minus one the sign of UIPI. So the, like the, the name of the character. Whether if you want to close it, it's fine. And I'll call this at the same time, the other one. Right, and you can see this minus one is only this for me too. Here. You do the product, the two is responding again. But it doesn't matter. These are the characters. Last minute, these are the characters. It's kind of clear that there are characters. Because, uh, let's just do it. So we need to check that there are homomorphisms. Right? So I V, we fix a V and you give me now two U's. And they take in the product, which is actually a sum in this, uh, uh, in the, I, don't, I want to show that it is a homomorphism. So chi v of the sum is the product of the chi v's of the division. So chi v of the sum, just by definition, is minus one to the sum. And here again, you see, I, I have this little kind of cheating where well, this sum is the sum of integers, whereas uh, the sum here, so this is sum of integers, the sum of here is in the group, C2, again, but it's fine because the minus one. Right, so if you sum integers, Take the minus one power, you only care about the parity of the result. So it's compatible, like we did before, with one guy. Oh, but I forgot to, oh, I should have said u plus u prime i di. And this is the name of the thing. And then, that's just my definition. And then, because uh, the way we add is pointwise, CUIVI plus U prime IVI. That's just, you can see it's just a problem, right? This product in sum goes nicely in the exponent. And then that's IV of G times IV. Just explore with the uh, plane, just a difficult, like why? And minus, and then asking if you have an even number, even one number or something. Oh, right, yeah. right. You, you take the bitwise, and and if it's an even number of ones, you get the minus one, uh, one, and other ones, minus one. And because this is either. This is a number between you know zero and n or something, but the minus one power I only care about the parity. So the question is if you, if here you have an even or odd number of ones. If it's even, this is one, it's not exactly. And again, you have notice you have two to the n characters for the group, which are size two to the n, and here you have n characters. I mean it must be a different character. Here you have n characters for group size n. This is a theorem. The number of characters, the size of the group. Cool. At least for a billion. We are talking only about a billion. Okay. Now it's actually cool. <laughs> okay. So here are some facts about characters. We're going to let me just see where, where we're going. We're going to consult the answer. It turns out that the characters in the the eigenvalues are all well, you'll see, but they come from the eigen well, they come from the characters also. So you want to understand the character. Well, um, <laughs> character is a, a function from the group C. So, and the graph is going to have the vertex set, which is the group. So the group are going to the group elements are the vertices. 
And so in an eigenvector or an eigenfunction, is a function also from the vertices. Right, you assign to every vertex a number. Right, so it's, it makes sense that. Right, that's exactly a character. A character does that. So the type wise, it's fine. What's going on here? But let's 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 so G is a billion and finite. And chi is cocktail. Then I of G, that's a complex number. And saying it has no one or only G. Sounds really good. Only like it's really. Only goes to the sum the, the sum of the no one. And that's like the I'm saying that the group is not here. We saw that in Omega N, by the way. That's happened there. As a character? Or any character. We saw it in Omega N. Right. Just like our special cases. Yeah, it doesn't seem right. It's too strict. Right. But the proof is like this, this is the thing that's annoying about proofs in the presentation theory. They always say something really smart and the proofs are very, really simple. And then you feel like, <laughs> oh, it's me. But no, it's cool. So because the group is finite, we know that uh, you know, G to the order of G, definitely G to the order of G, like I meant the order of literature, but definitely G to the order of R. Yeah. Right, good. Really so there's a theorem. <laughs> good. theorem <laughs> <Well, laughs> Which says that this always this always holds. So it turns out, so I should have said that it's one of the grand sphere or something, but this is a theorem. Only the first one you've seen, but when we look to it, but if you take it, if you have a group, it's finite, and you multiply an element in the group with itself that many times, the size of the group times, you get E. G is an element from group. Right. G is an element from the group. No, he's like the one, the one. I understand why you said that because the topic is the one. So that's the group, the one of the group. It's not okay. Actually, this is like a lot of results. So it's not obvious. That that's a fact. So actually, you know, it's fair. You ask, how could it be true? It's actually a it's not a fact. It's a theorem. It's not, it's not trivial. Trivial at all. Okay, but once you have that, you're done. Because you know that if you give me a character and apply it to EG, well, that's an easy fact to have. That's not a fear. That if you have a, any group of a character, maps the unit, like the, the neutral element, to the neutral element. Because you can kind of put it like twice. Yes. But anyhow, that's easy. So the character always does that. That's how that's easy. And but that's kind of the G to the G, the order of G, because the, the great feeling we had. And because of the negativity, I make G times. Small times is up. We get this. That's it. And this number, some integer, is a unit. That means it's a, this is a good thing. Okay. All right, so I forgot that we need the uh, advantages here. If at all this is the right thing. Yeah, it's the same. same. I know. Good. I know. Because it's two lines. Two lines? Same, right. Ah, this is like, yeah. 
No, it's a grand tour. Yeah. It's yeah. like, uh, I think it's uh, one of the half Arabian and half in, in, in visits in Algood as well as in uh, no, like Harab. Like, ah, I see, I see. Like, it's like one. There is another fact, and that's a uh, that's also easy. Yes. The one, there's one fact which I don't know how to easily. You can. This is easy. So if you look at all characters of G, so again, G is a fixed line at the million good. You look at all characters, let's not it like that. It's a group. It's a group. It happens all the time. One, I mean, it's kind of happening backwards. People for structure, so they absolutely. What happens is that the, whenever you have a group, it looks next to it, you get moves. Uh, but it happens the other way around. Right, good, amazing question. You ask me what operation? You see, uh, uh, usually when people decide, they don't, don't even consider this question. That's a great question. We bother. So, like, point, like, Point wise border. So, so right. So so how how do I define? So you give me two two such things, maybe chi and chi prime. So how do I define it as a character? So we know given G, I need to tell you what, what to output. So you output chi of G times in that sense, chi prime. So that's the complex model. You know. You generate an even one of the so it's like, like, and then you have another group. Ah, the, good, that good, the, good, very good. I think that the mistake that you get back the original ones. It's okay, so, like there's like a, an ISO, right. a, 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 like from the G hat to G hat. Right, G hat hat is it's because of the priestess form. Right, it's, te it's technically not G. Well, it's character model characters, it's like a different type, but it's the same. There is an isomorph. There's a way to relabel the things. Right. In Fourier transform, you know that you go back back to the great box. That's what happens here. Great question. I mean, really two really good question. So that's a fact. I mean, you know, what do I need to prove? I need to prove associativity that's kind of obvious. This is associative. Uh, and the unit, oh, who's the, who's the unit? Who's the unit character? The one that uh, delivers all to the one. Right, that's fair, right? They, 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 this function that takes every group element to one is a good character. There is a neutral element. Character of zero, so that's all zero. All ones. Because you see already from here, you know that the output of the character is, a, is a, as a unit name. K of G is always one. So the, the chi, the, the, the element, the, the chi E, let's call it, it sends everything to one. No, I mean, what's E? What's E? It's vector, like, ah, E is Depending on the group. Oh, it's for any group. It's for any group. Yeah, ah, right. And not E, yeah, right. Like, that, right. This is a general. Uh, okay, I thought we were still on the vector. Right, no, no. no. And what's the, so I need the inverse also, give me the inverse. So what's the inverse? So give me, give me, given a chi, I want to define an inverse chi. A chi that when you multiply it with your chi, you get back always one. So this is the one. It's the minus one of the... Right, so let me even say something a bit more. So let's go, in, let's define, for a given character, I'm going to define a new character, which I did not like that. And how this is defined? So what you do is you uh, compute compute chi of g and then take the conjugate. That's why it's not really complicated. And I'm just defining a new character. It's a character. The the adult way of seeing that is noticing that you uh, you compose two two homomorphisms. So this is homomorphism. The conjugation is homomorphism, and then it's now. But you can just check. It's fine. But if you check, I know that you don't know enough. It's a, you just apply two homomorphisms and it's still a homomorphism. 
the one line of this. Of, of the list. Ah, the, the thing we said that uh, any operation is going to age. In our case, it's from G to C, such that H of G1, G2 is H of G1, H of G2. Right, it's just something that respects the, the product structure of like, both groups, they behave the same. So, for example, in this, like, Single character that sends everything to one also obviously. And here, what I just said is that this is a homomorphism, and taking the conjugate is a homomorphism. The vision is fine. But you can just check it directly here, and that's the inverse. I mean, also what you said is the inverse. The inverse. Yeah. That's the inverse because, let's see, I, I, I need to pull. The chi times chi pi is one. Right? Like, this is so you give me chi, I define you a chi uh, conjugate this way, it's another character. You gave me a character, this is another character. And I want to show that the product is the mutual element, which is the character that sends everything to one. This is not a one number, this is a one function, one that sends every group element to one. The character, yes, right. So this is I call it chi before. Maybe I should have called it chi, e. but but I won't I won't remember. You see, chi is one. So. Okay. You have many ones when you do like upside. You have a, a one, one vector or many ones. So the one is the, the thing that is oblivious to the operation. In this case, in the characters. So right, so to prove that this is an inverse, I need to show that this element in the group of characters. I want to show it to you. Like that element is one. And so let's check it point wise because once it's called point wise, it holds. And we know that point wise, this thing is that, just by definition. Like here, the product is in the set of characters, and here, the product is in the complex. Thing. And this is chi g times chi g conjugate, because this is how we define the conjugate of a character. On an input, it completes a character and then the conjugate. And why is this one? No square. Right. This one. Right. So the number of times the conjugate is the square of the, the magnitude is one, which is like what this thing would output given g. This is the number one, and this is. Function one applied to G. So that's a goal. That's a that's an obvious. I mean, not obvious, but that's like a thing you can do. It doesn't need like a someone to tell you like this. This is true. You can do probably two, but then you will be oh, too late. <laughs> Famous. Uh, if you have done it like two hundred or something years ago. And uh, so that's the second part. Yeah. Okay. The third fact is uh, so for the third act, I want to say that these guys they are group elements, then you can multiply them, which gives them a kind of structure. But they are more than that. They are, I mean. You can also, they also kind of, you can equip uh, this set of chi's or generally homomorphism uh, with an inner order. So, what do I mean? This is the definition. So, given uh, I chi prime, let's be included in some, in some characters of G. We define so we define that uh, technically an inner product operation. So the inner product between chi and chi prime, like you know, in the product of vectors, right? These are three vectors. That's what we have. I, I want them as functions, these are just vectors. The issue is that there are vectors in the complex thing. So when you do the inner product, you need to do the right, the initial. So you go over all elements in the group. 
So what you might might have thought maybe if you use your Uber this thing, but you actually need to take the function. Make it uh open the border for the This is the mission here. Kind of vectors to like mentioning the uh, outputs, like for every right. input. Right, they can think of it as a vector indexed by the group elements, and at NDG you have KG. Functions and vectors are the same. Because uh, the entry is yeah. like if we treat the index as like as an actual index, but like uh, as a group element. element, exactly. And sometimes when you have like structure over the indices, like the group, it's better to think of them as functions. Does it make sense to normalize by this Yes. Some people, oh, I'm fine today. So some people do that. That's fine. It will make them autonomous in a second, rather than autonomous. But let's not do that because uh, we, we won't carry that for too long anyhow to this part of the course. And it doesn't matter much. Just do that. You, you can define it in two ways, and sometimes it's annoying because people define it and you don't know that they normalize and don't understand things. Yeah. But let's define it this way. This is definition. Yeah. Fine. In general, if you have a vector space, you can add. More structure to it. You can add like a norm, like measuring the length of stuff, or you can add in a product, which is Estonia, measuring angles between there. So that's what we do here. We are allowed to, uh, but sometimes it's not more for a while, we need to do it. Right, so it's kind of cool. You can do there are several layers of structure over this group of characters. It's a group, and it also has this in a not everything, like in, in the end, you don't have like in the whole. Just group. Here you have really group. These things that we are looking at have structure from two different courses. What's on top of it? Then there's the theorem. This is TV. Yes, it's easy. It's a fact. What is the alpha? Ah, I know what's the alpha. So the fourth fact uh, is that. So chi, if chi is this different than chi prime, again, characters in a fixed group, finite in a billion, then the inner product is zero. The autonomous. Yeah, crazy. Yeah. You can think of it as a vector, so they are like autonomous to each other. They are not autonomous or normal because chi with itself gives you a G. That's why you have G. Because if you take chi and chi, you sum over g elements, and then you have chi g, chi g conjugate, that's the size of chi g squared, it's one, so you get a g. So that's why sometimes it's called normalizing. But let's not normalize. What's interesting is that for distinct characters, they, they go in orthogonal directions. It's actually like in the Fourier form, where we have. Yeah. yeah, that's actually abstract Fourier Good. That's what immediately imply. Uh, yes, the, the number of characters is at most the size of the group. Right? As corollary, you can't have more than the dimension of the number of factors, the dimension of G, the number of characters. So that's that's an immediate consequence. Of this easy fact, we prove that. I, think I don't know how to prove easily the other dimension. I don't know if there is a proof. Uh, Okay. If you do that twice as yeah. okay. so that's it. So we won't pull that, but we will pull this, which implies that. That's why right. it gives you a bound of number of characters. They are in particular linearly independent. You can't be too many of them. So that's the fact that this is not trivial, but it's not that. And prove this fact. G is finite? Yes, everywhere. Good. G is finite and uh, a billion. Right. So, so, to prove that, let's start with showing that if kind is not one, not the one character, I mean, when kind one is, uh, that's, that's a special case. 
you know, taking any two distinct characters, let's just show a venue just like using the structure of the group. Let's first show that uh, everything, everything is orthogonal to the all ones character. Very good stuff. So how would you do that? So what, what is this? What is this one? So I need to go over all G and G. I of G. And technically I should write like one conjugate of G, but it's funny. Okay. So let's call this thing maybe by some name, D or something. Now I'm going to do a trick. So standard trick. Of the average tree, or let's see, it's shift tree. So let's look at all G of Let's go over all elements, but now let's take GH. Well, you fix H. Fix any H in G. Six one. And now you're going over the application of chi of all these elements other than all the Gs. What can you say about this quantity? It's equal to T. Right, because that's, you should think about it for a second, but when you iterate over all group elements, multiple branch, you just iterate over all group elements. You see a different way. Because multi time by H is a rejection. Like the operation of multiplying a group element by H, the image of that is G. Because you can you can look at the inverse of H go back. That's that's one way to see this. So that's actually T, it's a weird way of writing T. But now what you can, now I want to relate it again to T, but in a different way. So chi, I can use the, the, the fact that it's multiplicative. So I can write this as chi of G times chi of H. Take it out, maybe? Exactly. So then I can take it out. And then what? Exactly. See? This is not zero because the norm is one. The model is So t equal to a non-zero times t must be the t is zero. Oh, there's a, another way of doing that, but I feel like oh, the matrix, you know? Like you can ah, it's, <laughs> it's just uh, <laughs> Right, and then you look at the the, the good. So that's what I have in mind. Yeah. Felt weird I can choose so many H's. So okay, but but I, we didn't want just that. We wanted the chi with a chi prime, right? So now let's look at the inner product of chi with a chi prime. Any chi prime, if it's chi, it's going to be just G. So that's I just like the definition. So it's chi of G. Chi prime of G hat, which I always forget, and that gives me. But now you see, we can just write this as chi times chi prime hat of G. Because there is a product over the characters, it's a group. So you can, instead of looking at as evaluating two different characters, you can look at it as evaluating one character. With one, exactly. <laughs> it's only a wheel, right? <laughs> and when we know that this is zero, unless this is one. Right? So this is we said that this is always zero, unless the original character is one. So we assume that the character is not one. So this is zero unless. Chi times chi prime conjugate as a character is the old one's character. Right? Because when you have a one here, then that's not G. But you can now you can take you can multiply from the left by chi conjugate. Right? Let me just let me just do it. You need to specify it whether it's from the left or the right. Because even though here you don't. Right, right. And here it's really, yeah, it's everything is a video. Yeah. Where did we assume that? Chi is not one. Where did we use that? Uh, 
Uh, in the not equal zero, yeah. Oh, no, that is not. Yeah. Oh, it's not one. Ah, it's one. Ah, there is an age for which this is not one. Yeah. That's what was weird for me, that they could choose any age. Thank you. So, such that, thank you, very good. The kind of age is not one. And you can only if k is not one. Oh, this bothered me, but I couldn't see it. Oh, no. I was not fun with you, I told you. I, I don't know, it's weird. But, yeah. Good, very good. Okay. Nice. So because because k is not one, it's not one, the hidden age which is not one, and therefore this is, this is not one times t equals t, which makes t equals t. Thank you. So that's why we use it. And now these two goes away. So you see that chi prime conjugate is chi, but this means that this is equivalent to chi prime being equal to chi, because the conjugation you can conjugate here. Okay, so unless that happens, which is that exactly what you wanted, we have zero. Right, yes, I guess so. that's, that's yes. Yeah, instead of like, I felt like less, I feel like I should work with car and not have line or something. And so, all, all, everything is competitive anyhow. I was too careful about left and right. And so, yeah. 